Hello children. Today we are going to learn a very interesting lesson in EVS. Our body. Children, look at these pictures carefully. Children, tell me, what are these children doing? A boy is saluting. Very good. A traffic police is directing the traffic. A girl is wearing a hat. A nurse is holding an injection. A boy is playing football. A bus conductor is ringing the bell. Very good. Children, tell me which part of their body are they using? We have different parts of our body. The children in this picture are using different parts of their body. For different types of movements, they are using head, torso, arms and legs. Children, before we begin with our lesson, I want you all to tell me the different parts of our body. Very good. Head. Nose, eye, ear, mouth, neck, shoulder, Thumb, fingers, hand, arm, chest, elbow. Stomach, leg, thigh, knee, foot, ankle, Toes, heel, excellent children. Children, let us learn about the structure of the body. The head, torso, arms and legs are the main parts of the body. The head Arms and legs are joined to the torso. Children, let us learn about each part in detail. The head is covered with hair. Below the forehead are two eyes. With eyebrows and eyelashes. On the sides are 
the ears. In front is the nose. Below the nose is the mouth. And below that the chin. The part that joins the head to the torso is the neck. Torso. The chest. Abdomen. And back. Together make up the torso. The part where the arm is joined to the torso is called the shoulder. The leg is joined to the torso at the hip joint. Arm. The arm has three parts. Upper arm, forearm and hand. The fingers are the part of the hand. The upper arm and forearm are joined at the elbow. The forearm and hand are joined at the wrist. Leg. The leg too has three parts. Thigh, shank and foot. The thigh and shank are joined at the knee. The shank and foot are joined at the ankle. Toes are part of the foot. A part of the body that is used for a particular purpose is called an organ. We use our legs for walking. So, legs are organs. We use our ears for hearing. So, ears are also our organs. Organs that are on the outside of our body are called external organs. Legs, arms, ears and nose are our organs. They are on the outside of our body. Hence, they are our external organs. I hope children you all have understood till here. Let's have a quick revision. Children, today we have learnt about the structure of the body. Head, torso, arms and legs are the main parts of the body. Chest, abdomen and the back form the torso. Very good. Upper arm, forearm and hand are the three parts of the arm. Thigh, shank, foot are the three parts of the legs. A part of the body that is used for a particular purpose is called an organ. Organ that are on the outside of our body are called an external organs. 
children i hope you have understood till here we shall continue with our next topic in the next period till then take care bye